predicate logic or uh, we call it as uh, proportional logic. So I said uh, something that you need to know about uh, before getting to the predicate or proportional logic, you need to know what you mean by fact and uh, what is uh, knowledge and uh, what is uh, what we call it as a proportional logic. So fact is something I have given a statement like uh, uh, it's a statement, a statement or some form of text content information, text information. So which uh, could be in the uh, in the form of a real world entity. So anything uh, in the real world entity, uh, we are, if we are going to form as a statement or a sentence, then we call it as a fact. So as an example that I just told you like uh, uh, for fact it is a rainy. It is rainy. So this is something we call it as fact. So it, it is sunny. It's a fact. So, and I told something about the difference between atomic and uh, composite uh, uh, predicate logic. So, uh, the composite and the we use uh, or we use and uh, and we use some logical operators like not and the or line use for me. Uh, we use some braces uh, like this. So, so if we are going to use this and we are going to compose, we are going to add a two or more simple fact uh, to get a uh to go for a composite uh, predicate logic compound uh, predicate logic so there is a statement called if it is raining uh, then it is sunny sorry then it is uh, not sunny so this is something we call it as a fact two different statement right uh, so two different uh, two of fact a simple fact I'm going to write I'm going to join in a single format so if it is rainy I can write it as a rainy and not to go the Nana you know that not to go the symbol is this not sunny yeah so this is something uh, we call it as a proportional logic. So in your exam, uh, you will be getting a questions like uh, uh, they'll be giving some statement uh, and uh, you have to write, you have to convert, they will ask you to convert it into a proportional or predicate logic. So you have to write uh, all the stuff. So last class, I will discuss something about an example. So usually on the exam, on the, they will be asking this question, standard questions. Marcus was a man. So if it is a fact, so I call this as a fact. So instead of uh, writing this, why well, is that my screen is visible to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you. So Marcus was a man. So this is something we call it as a fact. So for that, I can uh, write a predicate logic. Predicate logic as man within a bracket Marcus. Here. Yeah. So second statement of the Nana, we discuss something about uh, Marcus was a Popian. So this is something we call it as fact. And the predicate logic or the proportional logic, we are going to write it as Popian. Within a bracket, Marcus. So this is something. So then third one. So some complex statement like uh, if the statement is something like all in Urduna. So all Popian. Where? Roman. So this is something a fact, and I'm going to convert this. So if all you have a symbol something called 
uh, for all x. So this is something we can say it like a for all. So all and on that we can use this symbol. So x represents the person. It might be a Popian or the Roman. Here. So here for this we will be writing as for all x. Here. Colon. Popian x. Roman x. So the conversion of uh, the fact to a predicate logic is something that we have to write. So all Popians, Popians, no on the. So instead of uh, if it is a plural, you are making it as an x. So x and the defines the set of persons here. Uh, Popians x some uh, po all Popians or a Roman. So for all, so that is something we have to write it here. And uh, next one, Caesar was a ruler. So for this, uh, you can convert this fact into ruler within a bracket. You can write it as Caesar. So this is the second time I second time told you. So you have to understood uh, how to convert a fact into a predicate logic. If some statement, if you get some statement like this, all Popian, all Popians were either loyal to Caesar or hated him. So you have to understand the statement. All in on the other, you know that uh, we have to use something called a symbol called X. So because we are going to use some uh, set of peoples, right? So uh, all people either are loyal to Caesar or hated him. So the statement is something that you have to understand that Popians were either loyal to Caesar. So Popians and then already I said that uh, all Popians were Roman. So I can make it a statement like uh, instead of Popians, I can make it as Roman X, Roman X and no, Popian no, both are same. So Roman X, uh, which is loyal, loyal to. So you just write the statement loyal to uh, who? The Popians, comma, Caesar. This person is loyal to Caesar. Or, or for all symbol, you know that all symbol we have to use this operator, logical operator. Uh, hated who? Some x, comma, Caesar. So this is something you have to write. Uh, either loyal or to Caesar or hated by him. So loyal, who is going to be a lawyer? Some x, x, r, na. The Romans. So Romans are or Romans something of Opians or X. So we have to write in such a way here. So is the and then there is one more symbol that uh, you have to say like uh, the sixth point. Uh, everyone is loyal to someone. So if there is a statement something called everyone, all Kundanana, it will like you have to use like this, right? So for everyone, you have to use like uh, for all and that exist. So we call this symbol is called that exist here. So everyone that exists is loyal to x comma y. So which means the x and y. So they are loyal to each other. So that is something we have written here. So this symbol we call it as that exists. Clear? 